is the best chess player in the world? There are multiple valid responses that exist for this question. Perhaps Hikaru, maybe Fabiana Caruana, possibly even Ding Li Ren. But by far, the most common answer to this question is Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen is the best in the world. I think Magnus is the GOAT. Magnus Carlsen. The but was he always? And what about of all time? Today, we will be studying who was the greatest chess player of all time. I think that there are three figures that we should focus on in this video. Number one, Bobby Fischer. In the pantheon of chess legends, Bobby Fischer holds a place unlike any other. Born on March 9th, 1943 in Chicago, Illinois, Fischer's ascent in the chess world was meteoric, marked by a combination of unparalleled genius and a complex, often controversial personality. His legacy is a tapestry of brilliant victories, a historic world championship, and moments of profound controversy. This segment explores the life of Bobby Fischer, diving into his remarkable achievements and his impact on the game of chess, and the complexities that defined his life. The Rise of a Prodigy Fischer's introduction to chess at the age of six was the beginning of a journey that would forever change the face of the game. By age 14, Fischer was the U.S. chess champion, the youngest ever at the time. His talent was undeniable, possessing an intuitive grasp on chess that combined deep calculation, an extraordinary memory, and an aggressive playing style. Fischer's path was not just a series of victories, it was a relentless pursuit of perfection in chess. Breaking Boundaries Fischer's contribution to chess strategy and his relentless pursuit of improvement pushed the boundaries of the game. His preparation and understanding of openings, middle game tactics, and end game techniques were unparalleled. Fischer's 1972 World Chess Championship matched against Boris Spassky in Reykjavik, Iceland, was more than a competition. It was an emblematic event of the Cold War era, portraying Fischer not just as a chess player, but as a singular American hero challenging Soviet dominance in chess. The Match of the Century The 1972 match against Spassky is perhaps the most celebrated chess match in history. Fischer's victory did not just earn him the World Chess Championship title, it shattered the notion of Soviet invincibility in chess, inspiring a generation of players worldwide. Fischer's game from this match are studied for their brilliance and originality, showcasing his ability to blend deep strategic planning with bold tactical strikes. The Enigma Fischer's career post-1972 became marked by the controversy and mystery. His demands and conditions for matches became increasingly difficult to meet, leading to a withdrawal from competitive chess. Fischer's rare public appearances and statements often sparked controversy, overshadowing his earlier contributions to the game. Despite this, his influence on chess remains indelible, revolutionizing the way the game is studied and played today. His legacy. Bobby Fischer's legacy is complex, intertwined with his incredible genius on the chessboard and his tumultuous life away from it. Fischer's contributions to chess theory, his memorable games, and his role in popularizing chess in the United States and beyond are undeniable. While his life was marked by controversy, Fischer's impact on the game of chess remains profound, making him a figure of endless fascination and debate. In chess history, Bobby Fischer remains an enigma genius whose life and career will forever inspire discussions about the game and the nature of genius itself. Gary Kasparov, a titan of chess. Born on April 13, 1963, in Baku, Azerbaijan, Kasparov's journey in chess is not just a tale of personal triumph, but a narrative that has inspired millions around the globe. In this segment, we dwell into the life of Gary Kasparov, exploring his ascent to the pinnacle of chess, his groundbreaking strategies, and his enduring legacy. The Prodigy's Rise Gary Kasparov's introduction to chess was as serendipitous as it was early, with him taking to the game at the tender age of just six years old. His prodigious talent was undeniable, leading him to study under the esteemed Mikhail Botvinnik at his chess school. Kasparov's meteoric rise through the ranks of Soviet chess set the stage for what would be a legendary career. By the age of 22, Kasparov had etched his name in the annals of history by becoming the youngest ever undisputed world chess champion in 1985 a title he wrestled from Anatoly Karpov in a match that had captivated the entire world. The Kasparov Era 
Kasparov's reign over the chess world was not just marked by his unmatched skill, but also by his innovative approaches and strategies. He revolutionized the game by introducing a level of preparation, both psychological and analytical, previously unseen. His aggressive style, marked by a deep strategic insight and daring attacks, redefined competitive chess. Kasparov held the title of World Chess Champion until 2000, battling not just opponents across the board, but the changing landscape of the game itself, including the rise of computer chess. Kasparov vs. Deep Blue Perhaps the most iconic chapter in Kasparov's career was his pair of matches against IBM's Deep Blue. In 1996, Kasparov triumphs over the supercomputer, showcasing human ingenuity's superiority over the artificial intelligence. However, in 1997, Deep Blue won the rematch, marking the first time a reigning world champion lost to a computer under standard chess tournament conditions. This event was not just a milestone in the history of chess, but also a pivotal moment in the development of artificial intelligence. Legacy and Beyond Chess Kasparov's impact extends far beyond his records and titles. He authored several books on chess, contributing immensely to its study and appreciation. After retiring from professional chess in 2005, Kasparov turned his attention to politics and human rights, becoming a vocal critic of the Kremlin and advocating for democracy and freedom in Russia and around the world. Garry Kasparov's legacy is multifaceted as a chess player. He pushed the boundaries of the game, inspiring generations to see chess not just as a battle of moves, but as a profound expression of human creativity and intellect. Beyond the board, his activism and intellectual contributions continue to resonate. Kasparov's journey reminds us that true mastery involves not only achieving excellence in one's field, but also leveraging one's skills and platform to make a broader impact. In the world of chess and beyond, Kasparov remains a towering figure, a titan whose life's work continues to inspire and challenge us to think, strategize, and dream bigger. Number three, Magnus Carlsen, redefining the chessboard. In the Chronicles of Chess, Magnus Carlsen's name is synonymous with extraordinary talent, unparalleled consistency, and a profound impact on the game's modern era. Born on November 30th, 1990 in Tonsberg, Norway, Carlson's journey in chess is a testament to not only innate talent, but also relentless dedication and a unique approach to the game. This segment dwells into Magnus Carlson's remarkable career, his innovative strategies, and how he has shaped the chess world both on and off the board. The Making of a Grandmaster Carlson's introduction to chess at an early age set the foundation for what would become a legendary career. His rise to the ranks was swift and decisive. By 2004, at just 13 years old, he became a grandmaster showcasing a depth of understanding and a level of intuition that belayed his years. Carlson's early career was marked by his rapid improvement and his versatility, foreshadowing the dominance he would later achieve on the global stage. Dominance on the world stage Magnus Carlson's ascent to the top of the chess world was meteoric. In 2010, he reached the top of the FIDE world rankings, and by 2013, he had clinched the World Chess Championship, a title he has defended multiple times. Carlson's playing style is a blend of deep strategic understanding, remarkable endgame prowess, and an unparalleled ability to outplay his opponents in seemingly equal positions. His approach to chess, often described as a combination of historical depth and modern innovation, has redefined how the game is played and perceived. Innovator and Ambassador Beyond his achievements on the chessboard, Carlson has played a pivotal role in popularizing chess across the globe. His involvement in chess apps, online streaming, and participation in high-profile tournaments has brought chess to a wider audience, making the game more accessible and engaging for people of all ages. Carlson's charismatic personality and competitive spirit have made him an ambassador for the game, inspiring a new generation of players to pursue chess with passion and dedication. Carlson's Impact on Chess Strategy Magnus Carlson's impact on chess strategy and theory cannot be overstated. His preference for playing out slightly better endgames and avoiding early draws has led to a shift in how games are approached at the highest levels. Carlson's ability to play a wide variety of openings at an elite level has also contributed to a more dynamic and unpredictable landscape in competitive games. His games and strategies are studied by players worldwide, influencing how chess is taught and learned today. As Magnus Carlsen continues to compete and contribute to the chess world, his legacy is already taking shape. He is not just a world champion, but a symbol of the game's evolution in the 21st century. Carlson's career is a narrative of breaking boundaries, inspiring excellence, and a continuous quest for improvement. As he shapes the future of chess, both on and off the board, 
Magnus Carlsen remains a central figure in the game's ongoing story, inspiring millions with his dedication, strategic brilliance, and love for chess. Magnus Carlsen's journey in the world of chess is a remarkable blend of talent, hard work, and innovation. His contributions extend beyond his victories and titles, influencing the game's strategic development, its global popularity, and the way it's consumed and enjoyed. As we continue to witness his career unfold, Carlsen's legacy as one of the greatest chess players in history is undeniable as is his role in defining the future of this ancient game. In the story of chess, Magnus is not just a chapter, but a turning point, redefining what it means to be a champion in the modern era. So, who is the greatest? Still, there isn't a clear answer to this question. Are we determining based off their peak skill, impact on the game, or the most titles won? A case could very easily be made for any of these players. Bobby Fischer was the youngest US chess champion at the time, only 14 years old. Garry Kasparov became the youngest chess world champion at 22 and had a revolutionary impact on the game. Magnus Carlsen has dominated more than any other chess player in history. He's without a doubt the best in the world today, winning five world chess championship titles. In my opinion, Garry Kasparov is the greatest of all time. Having an entire era follow him is no small feat. He's an idol for a lot of the best chess players today, like Hikaru and Magnus. He also changed the game extraordinarily, affecting people's playstyles and strategy. He was the youngest world chess champion to ever exist, clearly showing his unmatched skill in the game. Magnus could overtake him if he does decide to continue winning more championship titles, but in my mind, Garry Kasparov is unmatched. Let me know, do you guys agree? Who is the greatest of all time? If you did enjoy this video, then please do subscribe. This video took a lot of work, and subscribing would be very appreciated. Thank you very much. Peace.